Why is it that you stop directing? And also, in addition to that, if J.J. Uh, Abrams does an Exhibition Impossible movie, would you come back as Paris again? <laughs> <laughs> when we were making the, uh, we were making this movie, this Star Trek movie, Tom Cruise came to visit on set one day. And, and he and I had an interesting conversation about the, about the future of Mission Impossible. I won't go into that right now, but it was just, it was just really great to have him, one of the great movie stars, visit us on the set to pay homage to Star Trek because he's a fan, and, and we're a fan of his, of course. Uh, I, I don't know what the future is of Mission Impossible, and if J.J. Abrams calls, I'm, I will always take his phone call. I can't, I can't tell you for sure what, what my answer would be if you asked me about being in a Mission Impossible movie. So I you asked me about why I stopped directing. I stopped directing because I had never intended to direct in the first place. Uh, no, it's true. I, I just, I just kind of, it just kind of happened. Uh, after Star Trek II, uh, and it was clear that they wanted to bring Spock back, they called me for a meeting at Paramount and they said, we would like to know if we'd like to be involved in Star Trek III uh, as Spock. And I had been thinking about directing for a long time, and I frankly realized that now I have what is known as in our business as leverage. <laughs> I was in a position, I knew they wanted me to play Spock, and I was in a position to ask for some other reason besides being paid well. Uh, I knew they would pay me well. And I said, you know, with all due respect to Robert Wise, who made Star Trek The Motion Picture, and Nicholas Minor, who directed Star Trek II, I think I really know more about Star Trek than either of them, and I think I could bring something to a Star Trek movie as a director, so I'd like to direct the film. And that's how it happened. And I remember just like that. It just, and they said, great, let's do that. And then uh, by the time I finished making Star Trek III, they asked me to make Star Trek IV. And then the management of Paramount, Michael Eisner and Jeffrey Katzenberg left Paramount and went to Disney. By the time I finished making, finished making Star Trek IV, they asked me to come to Disney to do three and a baby, and suddenly my whole life was involved with directing. And um, at that time, my personal life was so good, and, and uh, these films were taking so much of my, my time and energy that I decided that I'd had enough. I did a couple more movies, and I felt now I really wanted to do something entirely different with my life and, and enjoy myself. I appreciate the question because what you're telling me.